Hey, what's up guys, Rafal here with Unplugged Productions and in this video, I'm gonna quickly go over how I make my selects while editing a project. Choosing your selects may be one of the more tedious processes, but it's really important because you are choosing the best shots of everything that you've filmed. So when I'm making my selects, I would rather get through them as quickly and as efficiently as possible without being careless and missing potentially good shots. So I have a project open right here and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my selects while going through the footage. So I have some footage here of Isaac shooting this artist right here. This is Michael Brandrup, and he is a artist from Denmark who is making an absolute killing here in LA. He actually just recently had an exhibit in Copenhagen in Denmark, and Isaac and I helped create some promo videos and photos for him, which was really cool. You can see that I started making some selects right here, and so this is right where I stopped. So when I'm making my selects, both hands are gonna be on the keyboard. I do not touch the mouse at all while making my selects, and I'm gonna show you guys what my hotkeys are. So right here I have J, K, and L. These letters are gonna help me jog forward and backward. I usually don't use K because K just stops the playhead. I usually just use space for that. It's a habit at this point. So I have J, K, and L moving forwards and backwards. And then here I have Q, W, and I have my add edit set to C. I think by default it's control or command K in Premiere, but I'd rather hit one key instead of two. So I have add edit set to C. And you can see here if I hit C, it makes a cut right here. Q ripple deletes everything before the playhead and W ripple deletes everything after the playhead. So if I hit Q on the clip, everything before it gets removed and the playhead goes right to the beginning of the previous clip. I'll move this ahead a little bit. If I hit W, everything after the playhead on the clip gets deleted and everything in front of it gets moved close. If I'm unsure about what else is happening further in the clip and I still wanna see what's ahead, I'll hit C, I'll add an edit and I'll keep playing forward just to make sure that I'm seeing what else is in the rest of the clip and if I figure that there's nothing left in the clip, I'll hit delete and that's gonna ripple delete the clip that the playhead is on. And that's the foundation of how I make my select. So I'm gonna really quickly show you guys how I would make a select from this screen. So I have a light here and um, probably just using this shot to showcase the light. So let's say I wanted that moment, right? Moment of the light, um, right before the jitter happens or right when the jitter ends, I'm gonna hit Q, cause that's where I want the moment to start. So I'm gonna hit Q and that's gonna ripple delete everything before the jitter moment. I'm gonna hit L to move forward, see all that. And right before the camera pans away, I wanna cut. So I'm gonna hit J, I'm gonna go backwards a bit and just kind of toggle this a little bit and I can hit the arrow keys as well to really get on the frame that I want. And then I'm gonna hit C because this is a long clip and so there's probably another potential moment or two or three that I may wanna use. So I'm gonna hit C. I'm gonna move on to the next moment I may wanna keep. He's adjusting this light, this moment here where he's turning the light, I would definitely want to include that in the video because you know he's kind of showing his technique and what he's planning on doing with that light. So probably right before he turns that knuckle, I'm gonna hit Q because I'm not gonna want anything before that moment. And then the next moment starts right here to where he's pointing towards the light. And then he extends it, probably still want that moment as well. I may shorten this entire moment anyway, and that's that. So he finishes that, I hit space, I'll hit C again, because that's where I want the moment to end most likely. And then we'll see what else he does. Nothing interesting happening here. And by the way, if you guys wanna jog through a clip faster, you probably already know this already, but if you don't, if you hit L once, it'll play at normal speed. You hit it again, it'll double the speed and triple the speed, and essentially you could just blaze through a bunch of edits. And the same thing goes with J. If you wanna just go backwards, it'll blaze through just like that. And then one last thing, guys, if, for example, there's a clip that I really like, let's say this clip of Isaac lifting the light, repositioning it, I really like that light. I can put it up a level like this clip here so that way when I'm assembling the edit, I can look at the timeline as a whole and see these clips that are on the second layer to show me that those are clips that I especially like. To do that, it's really easy. When you have the clip selected, you hold down Alt and hit the up arrow, and then it just goes up a layer like that. If you wanna go another layer, you hit it again, and that's the easy way to visually see any clips that you really like, so that way you know those are special clips that you will definitely wanna use in the edit. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. If there are any hotkeys that I missed, or if there are shortcuts that you yourself use that you wanna mention, go ahead, pop them in the comments below, and if you found this video useful, of course, go ahead, give this video a like, and subscribe to the channel. We have more content coming your way and of course don't forget check us out on instagram at unplugged productions thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one